Hello students, this video is about the oxidation states and the trends of the oxidation states in the periodic table. So let's start with the definition. The oxidation number of an atom in a compound is the charge with the sign which it would carry in the compound. I repeat, the oxidation number, it is the charge on an atom which it would carry in a compound. For example, this is sodium chloride. This is the common table salt which you all should be familiar with and it's an ionic compound. In any compound, the oxidation states, they are determined on the basis of the number of electrons gained or the number of electrons lost. In this case, the oxidation state of sodium is positive 1 and of chlorine is negative 1. On the other hand, this is carbon tetrachloride, CCl4, and it is a covalent compound and it is formed by the sharing of electrons. In this case, the oxidation states, it is defined on the basis of the difference in the relative electronegativities in students, electronegativity, it's the chemical property that describes the tendency of an atom to attract shared pair of electrons towards itself. In this case, the oxidation state of carbon is positive 4 and of chlorine is negative 1. Now, chlorine, bromine, oxygen and hydrogen, Cl2, Br2, O2, H2, they are in the free state. The free state, it is the uncombined elemental atoms, whether they are lone or diatomic or polyatomic. And the oxidation state shown by these are is zero. Now you can see that this is sodium. It is 11 atomic number, and its electronic configuration is 281. And chlorine, it has electronic configuration 287. The outermost shell has one electron, and in chlorine, the outermost shell has seven electron. So sodium loses one electron and form positive one oxidation state. And chlorine, it gains one electron to complete its octet and have minus one oxidation state. Now this cation and this anion, they have strong force of electrostatic attraction and they form a strong ionic bond. On the other hand, this is carbon in the ground state and this is carbon in the excited state. Sorry for the inconvenience. This is 2s, 2px, 2py and 2pz just like here you can see. Now, one electron from 2s orbital, it jumps into the 2pz orbital and form four unpaired electrons. These get paired with four chlorine atoms and form CCl4 compound, which is a covalent compound. Now, you know very well that chlorine is a halogen and it is highly electronegative as compared to carbon. So, all the chlorine atoms in carbon tetrachloride will have minus one oxidation state and carbon will be having positive four oxidation state. Now students, let's discuss something about the trends of oxidation states across the period that is from left to right. The oxidation state of a typical element is directly or indirectly related to the group number to which the element belongs in the periodic table. This is the subgroup A. So group 1A to group 4A, the elements of group 1A to 4A, that is alkali metals and carbon family, they have the same oxidation states as their group numbers. For example, boron, aluminium, and gallium also. They belong to group 3A and it has positive 3 oxidation state. So for the elements of these groups, the oxidation state is same as the number of electrons present in the valence shell of the elements. For group 5A, the elements in this group, the oxidation states are either the number of electrons present in the valence shell, which is the same as the group number, or the number of vacancies available in these shells. For example, nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, and antimony, they show negative 3 as well as positive 5 oxidation states frequently. Now here you can see that this is boron, 1s2, 2s2, and 2p1, 2 inner electrons and 3 outer electrons. These 3 electrons they can be lost and boron form positive 3 oxidation state. On the other hand, this is nitrogen, 1s2, 2s2, and 2p3. You can see that 3 vacancies are available, 1, 2, and 3. So it, it can have minus 3 oxidation state. Or you can see that it has 2 inner electrons and 5 outer electrons. 5 is the group number of nitrogen, 5a. Nitrogen belongs to 5a. So it can have positive 5 oxidation state as well. Now for group 6A, which is the oxygen family, oxygen, selenium, 
oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, polonium. They show similar behavior as of group 5A. As in sulfuric acid H2SO4, the oxidation state of sulfur is positive 6. And in H2S, which is hydro hydrogen sulfide, it is minus 2, which is the number of vacancies in its outermost shell. For group 7A, which is the halogen family, the fluorine, fluorine, bromine, iodine, and acetine, the oxidation state, it is always minus 1. This is the number of vacancies in the outermost shell. And for group 8A, which is the inert gases, the oxidation state is 0. For 8A, the oxidation state is 0. It is also called as zero group elements. Usually, they show zero oxidation state because there is no vacancy available in their outermost shell. Now, you can see in sulfur, there are two inner electrons. In the next shell, there are eight electrons. And in the outermost shell, there are six electrons. Now, you can see that there are two vacancies available. So, it can have minus two oxidation state or six electrons. So, it can have positive six oxidation state, which is the same as that, which is the same as that of the group number. 6A, sulfur belongs to the 6A group. Now, chlorine, you can see that there are seven electrons seven valence electrons so it has only one vacancy available and it can have minus one oxidation state now the transition elements which are the subgroup b they usually show more than one oxidation states and these elements they also show the oxidation states which is equal to the group number as it can be seen for copper one zinc two chromium six and manganese six like here you can see that this is the 1b group coin is metal copper silver aurum au is gold and this is 2b zinc cadmium and mercury this is the third group fourth fifth sixth so on so copper will have positive one oxidation state vanadium will have positive five oxidation state manganese positive seven so they show the same oxidation state which is equal to the group number These elements usually show more than one oxidation state in the compounds because they have greater number of valence electrons available in the partly filled D orbitals. So you can see that this is the first series of the transition element. This is scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper and zinc. It has incomplete d orbitals and they are in the process of completion so that is why they show different variable oxidation states and that is why they are also known as d block elements now you can see that down the group the trend is that Due to the same outermost shell electronic configuration, the elements of the same group, they have the same oxidation state. Because they are in the same group, all the elements are in the same group, so they have the same oxidation state. So there is no general trend of oxidation state in a group. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Wish you all the best.